I have to write one more start and update function, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> Starting with the first variables, we have the prefabs. These are the three different forms the text box can take. One with just text, one with text and name, and one with text, name, and image. Showing you the prefab will help explain the rest of the script. All prefabs are an empty game object with a child. The child has the text box script and a raw image component, as well as three children of its own. It is very important that all prefabs have the same format and that the children of the text box are named text, name, and face. This will be made clear why in the script. There's another important detail though. The anchors of the text box mu will be its size. If you don't separate them, they will become a point, which means it won't exist. The references are pretty self-explanatory. Box text is the text in the box. Box name is the name in the box. Box face is the image in the box, box image is the image of the box itself, box rec transform lets us shape the box via script, instance is basically, well I don't want to explain object oriented programming so just look that up if you're interested, it will be a lot more articulate than what I would say right now. Canvas is the canvas, next up is texture, which by itself it's just an image, we're in the final stretch of variables now, typing. All these variables are related to our typewriter function, which will output text one character at a time. Each of these variables are inputs that the designer can change to make the typewriter have different delays. And lastly, we have is speaking. This will be true when the typewriter is active and false when it's not. Moving on to functions. The awake function is going to initialize all our references. Yay! Remember when I said the name of the children was important? Well, bam! Right here, it gets the reference based off the name of the child. Don't you feel foolish now? Remember when I said anchors change the size of the text box? Well bam, right here, it changes the size based off of the anchors. Don't you feel foolish now? Remember when I said to like and subscribe so you can see more great content like this? Well bam, go do that. Don't you feel foolish now? Not because you liked and subscribed, because you didn't already. Moving on to the typewriter function. With the power of coroutines, this outputs characters one at a time. Depending on the input you give it, the text box will take the form of either just text, text and name, and text name and face. Or text name, text name and face. That is a tongue twister. Unless you're crazy and want to constantly flash a picture in and out of the text box, I'd recommend just sticking to one input combination. Next is text to screen which is the beta version of our Chad typewriter script. No coroutines, no happiness. Just outputting text to the screen instantly. Disgusting. The final bit is our two helper functions. I don't use them very much, but I'm also doing the bare minimum with testing. You can change the text speed and the image of the text box with these two functions, so go wild with it. This concludes the text box script. It's definitely not all it could be, and I may go over it again in the future, adding new features, but it does work. Let me know if you want the prefab assets in the comments because I'm too lazy to put them in right now. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed or if this helped you. Leave a comment on scripts you would be interested in seeing or if my code is so unbelievably shitty that it physically hurts you. Also let me know that in the comments. Have a good day. Goodbye.